Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's good to see everyone. This is the first time I'm uh, I'm doing um, the live chat for or live uh, feed for Facebook. Um, so let's uh, let me play with some of the stuff here and uh, and see what we can do. Um, what I'm looking for is uh, to see who's there. Um, so. Um, Send me a message or, you know, let me know what's going on and we can, uh, we can help out. So <clears throat> I'm going to start off with a little bit of a class. I'm going to introduce you to someone soon, um, you know, just, just to make sure. Diego, Alan, hello, guys. How are you? Good to see everybody. Nice to see everyone there. I'm hoping uh, you guys are well and and uh, and enjoying the solidarity, being at home. So um, we'll wait a couple minutes, see how many people we get on, and uh, and we'll start the class soon. So I'm going to introduce you guys. Hey, Veronica, how are you? <laughs> nice, Johnny. How are you? Good to see everyone. Let me introduce you to someone. <laughs> yeah, me too. I liked it, but other people didn't like it. I had to shave it. So today, I'm, I'm going to introduce you guys to Jiu-Jitsu Jack. This is, uh, this is what I'm going to be using today. What I want you guys to do is I, I want you guys to get a pillow. We're going to be where? Hello, Margaret. Chifa, how are you? Good to see everyone. Vlad, nice to see you guys. Andrew, awesome. No, you're not going to need a dummy. You're going to need a pillow. So something something flat that you can train with. I'm going to use Jiu-Jitsu jiu -jitsu Jack here. But you guys can use, just grab a pillow or something that you can put down on the ground. We're going to be going through uh, our one through six again. And, uh, and doing some training. So... Pillow's perfect. Grab a pillow, um, get it on the floor, um, and we'll do some a warm up first. But have a pillow close to you. Get a get a, a little bit of a water or a drink, some sort of a, a, a bottle of water, or something beside you, and we'll get started in a, in a few minutes. So, <clears throat> see you, David. See ya. Welcome, everyone. How are you, Margaret? What, what I went and did is I, uh, I went to the dollar store, guys, and I got um, a couple of pool noodles. So I went and bought 10 pool noodles like this, okay, with a couple, uh, two or three rolls of tape. And what I did is I made Jiu-Jitsu Jack here out of pool noodles and tape. I think it cost me about $15 at the dollar store, okay? So what I had done was I, I made a video of how I put this guy together. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to be putting it together for you guys and, uh, and, um, and then getting you guys to uh, try to make one of them at home. It's going to be cost efficient and it's going to be easy. And then we can start using that kind of uh, uh, our uh, jujitsu jack there to do some training and stuff like that. Hello, Marcelo, Professor, how are you? I shaved, bro. Just just for you, you kept whining and complaining about my beautiful face. But, uh, you know, I shaved. Socrates is gone, so it's time time to get to work. <laughs> Hola, Andrew, how are you? Good to see everyone. We'll give everyone a couple minutes, and then we'll get started. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do a lot of groundwork today. We're going to work positions one through six. Um, so when I'm going to teach for the next little bit, I'm going to be running through those positions um, to try to uh, to try to help everybody out, and uh, and that's going to be the the staple or the process to make sure that uh, we're learning for the next few weeks. 
So every time I'm up, I'm going to revert back to that one through six video. I have it online as well. Um, you can go on to the Facebook and Instagram pages and, uh, and find it. The BJJ seminar that we did last week, I have, or uh, two weeks ago, it has one through six. So you guys can run through that and that'll help you um, know where we're at. We're going to go through it extensively today and we're going to be running through um, and figuring that stuff out. So, um, you know, look for that. Um, we, we, we can't use a partner. I, I, I can't see um, with the Zoom classes. I could see if you had a partner or someone there beside you, but this, this way I can't. It's just uh, I can see you guys write to me, but I can't see them, which is okay. Uh, some of you guys who have partner work, you can use a partner. Um, if you don't have a partner, grab a pillow um, or something you can put down on the ground and you can, uh, and you can use for, um, for doing this class today. So I'm going to put a timer on here just so uh, so I don't go over time because I got a, I got a habit of uh, talking way too much, um, as you guys know. So I'm just going to set a timer for our warm-up. We're going to go for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to warm up, and then uh, we're going to go from there. So clear your space, uh, put the pillows off to the side, and let's get on the floor and, uh, and let me know if everyone's uh, ready to go. It's really good to see everyone. I'm glad everyone's on, and uh, and let's get to work. Okay, Jack, let's go off to the side here, buddy. Okay, but one run through one through twelve, just so we can uh, do a little bit of some stretching and warm up, and then we'll go from there. So, everyone, squatting position to start. Okay, you want to squat down as far as you can. And then all the way back up. That's one. Down. One. Two. All the way down. Three. Try to get your butt to touch your heels. Notice how my feet are coming off the ground. Four. All the way down. Five. Get those knees going. Okay. Down and around with your knees. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Other way. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, good. Straighten out your legs, reach down, touch your toes. Good, back up, hands on your hips. Let's do our hips. One, two, three, four, and five. Other way, one, two, three, four, and five. Place your feet together, click your heels together, and push one side. Pick a side, push it. Push the other side. Just want to make sure people are in. Switch other side. Very good. Switch other side. Nice and easy. Roll it to the front. Push. Push to the front. Good. Rotate your shoulders backwards. Good. Roll them forward. Good. Arms backwards. Good, roll them forward. Give yourself a hug. Good, okay. So everyone get in your base stance. Grab your knees, back straight, and I want you to drop one shoulder. Very good, switch other side. Switch, switch, good, come back up, nice, okay, now the deep squat, you're going to go all the way down, we're going to squat down as far as you can, and try to touch your heels all the way down to your, to your butt, all the way down, now my butt's going to touch the ground, and I'm going to sit, and just do back break fall, touch your toes. Very good. Rock back, back break fall, come up, run or stretch one side. You guys have seen this before. Every time you go back, I want you to do a little quick back break fall. Be careful if you don't have mats, that's okay. Don't have to do the break fall. Switch, other side. This time, feet together. Feet together. 
Legs out. Break fall, sitting on one foot. Push all the way forward. See I'm low, my posture's high. Try not to lean forward this way. Try to stay up when you do it. If you can't, it means your mobility is a little bit off, that's all right. But I wanna try to be nice and tall when I'm doing this. Have a seat, break fall, sit on the other foot, and push forward this way. Good, break fall, technical stand up. Every, nice and close, push forward, let your leg go up, come up, and put your feet together, back break fall again, technical stand up on the other side, push forward, up, back break fall, cross your legs, and come to the front, drop your hips, and reach up with your chin, stretch your lower back, relax your shoulders, relax your hips. Okay, we cross our legs from the back and roll over your shoulder. Cross, pick a shoulder, shoulder roll. Again, look, I'm landing on one knee. Okay? I'm gonna go up on my hands, squat position, front break fall. So, both forms to fingertips down and then up on my hands. Push up, squat thrust all the way up. Now we're gonna back roll over the other shoulder, land on the other knee. Landing, see I land on my knee, back up, squatting front break fall, hands to the feet, fingertips to the elbows, all the way up, squat thrust up, and back break fall again, on your back, feet inside. So you're rotating your feet outside in, knees stay where they are, hips stay where they are, and just rotate, switch, go the other way, outside in. Switch, inside out, switch, outside in, ride your bike, pedal forward, good, pedal backwards, up, touch your toes, reach, and touch your toes behind your head, all the way back, try to get your toes on the ground, back to the front, touch your toes, Back, touch your toes behind your head. And those who can, roll out on your knees. Very good. It's a little bit of a warm-up, so now we're going to start working some ground stuff. Okay, just mobility stuff on the ground. Get our hips and our, our bodies moving a little bit. And then we're going to get on top of our jujitsu jack here, our pillows, and we're going to get to work. Okay, so I'm going to start... Further back, I want you guys to work towards your camera back or sideways, wherever you have a little bit of room. But I'm gonna start on my back, feet on the ground, really close, facing, looking at the camera, looking over top of my knees. Notice, my head's off the ground. I'm not relaxed this way. I wanna be up off the ground and I wanna do just a simple shrimp. So we start with a bump. So I'm gonna bump my hips up without touching my head on the ground. And then down again. Make sure your feet are close to you. Again, two, bump up, as high as you can go, and then back down. Three, bump up, try to get your belly higher than your knees. This is not enough, I gotta bump really, really high. And down again, four, five. Good, now we're gonna bump, and when I bump, I'm gonna pick a shoulder. Doesn't matter which one, and I'm gonna roll on top of that shoulder, this way, okay? So bump up, roll on your shoulder, and with the opposite hand, reach as far up and sideways as you can at the same time. Don't drop your hips when you're doing it. Stay up nice and tall, and back down again. Let's go to the other side. Two, jump up, push, and back down. Other side, three, good, four, five, six, we're just warming up, seven. Some of the juniors goes a little slower. The senior belts a little faster, one more, 10. Good time, okay, so now that's the start of us shrimping or bumping and rolling. We would bump, touch, and then roll, or bump, touch, and then shrimp away from the position where we're going. So that's the idea that we're working here. 
Okay? Some people shrimp by sliding their bodies on the ground. Notice how I didn't lift my hips off the ground. That's a perfectly good shrimp. But the one I want to do today is with a bump. I want to cause the person to come and get off of me for a little bit, make sure I create some space so that they're not sitting on my belly anymore. They're, they don't have their knee on me if we're doing knee on belly. And then I want to slide out from underneath and then go back to position. Okay? So you want to bump as high as you can. Pick a shoulder. So the only thing that's on the ground is the shoulder and your feet. Make sure the patch or your back is sideways. My back is not towards the ground. I'm totally sideways. And then push with your feet and let your hips go backwards and reach down for your toes this way. Back again. Bump. Push. Shrimp. Good. Again. Three more. Bump on your shoulder like you're going to reach. Then shrimp. Good. Again. Bump. Up. Shrimp. Back where you are. Okay. So that's the shrimp drill. Now we're going to do it moving up and down the floor. So going towards your camera, we're going to do two or three. So I'm going to bump, shrimp towards the camera, then set up again. Bump, shrimp towards the camera. Good. Now turn, 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 face the other way, and go back where you came from. Bump, shrimp towards the camera. Good. Bump, shrimp away from the camera. Sorry. One more time. Bump up and shrimp away from the camera. Good. Excellent. Okay. So now we're going to do forward shrimping. So I want everybody to sit up just the same way I am, like we were at the beginning of the, the class where we're sitting up touching our toes. So this is the beginning of forward shrimping. This is a very basic way of doing both back shrimping and forward shrimping. It's very basic and very easy. It's uh, more for beginners or juniors. This is a good way for you to start to understand how the body works. It's a really good mobility drill to get your body moving. Okay, and to understand how it works. So I'm going to reach and grab my toes, and what I want to do is I want to lie down on one side. Okay, so now I have to think like I'm doing the opposite. I want my shoulder and feet to be strong and my hips to be light, and I want to bring my hips towards my feet, and then I'm going to sit up again. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. So I'm sitting up, so make sure you have room in front of you. Okay, so I'm this way. Touch my toes. We went on this side. Now we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to lie down on the ground this way. And notice, I'm sideways. I'm still reaching for my toes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my hands over top of my head this way. And I'm going to get my hips to go down towards my feet this way. Then I sit up, touch your toes, drop down to the side. And same thing, my hands go this way, and my feet stay where they are, and my hip goes down towards my feet. Again, sit up, down, pull. Okay? Now we're going to shrimp backwards. We've got forward shrimping, and we just finished backwards shrimping. So same thing. I'm going to push up on my shoulder, shrimp back. Set it up. Push up on my shoulder, sit back. One more time. Up, sit back. Same thing now, just going to speed it up a little bit. Touch my toes, bring it to my hips. Touch my toes, hips go to my feet. Touch my toes, hips go to my feet, shrimping backwards. Bump, shrimp, bump, shrimp. Toes, towards, reach for your toes, towards. One more time, reach for your toes, towards. Bump, shrimp, bump, shrimp. Very nice. Okay, last one, or last two, and then we're good to go. Our warm-up's done. So I'm lying down sideways, and I'm going to shrimp away from the camera, side shrimping. So my shoulder stays where it is, and my head and my feet just move away from my shoulder. My shoulder's not going to move. Sorry. My hip is not going to move, and my shoulder and my feet are going to go away from my hip. And then I move my hip back, shoulders and feet together. Notice, see? My head goes backwards, and my feet go back behind myself, and then I push away. Hip, feet, push away. Okay? So that's side shrimping. 
We have side shrimping on our left side, and we have side shrimping on our right side. So what we're going to do is move up a little bit, okay? Let's do a couple more on the same side we just practiced. So I'm going to hands up, so feet and shoulders back, line my hip back. Feet and shoulders back, line my hip up. It's a very small motion. We could get two or three shrimp drills forward and backwards, but side shrimping we get five or six. It's a really slow motion. Let's try the other side. Okay, so we're on the other side here. Line down on the ground, body straight, feet and shoulders go back same time, this way, and then shoot your hips back. Feet and shoulders, shoot your hip back. Feet and shoulders, shoot your hips back. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Let's try a couple more. Lying down, upper lower body, then my hips. Upper lower body, hips, and little small movements like that. So, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a square, okay? The whole time when I'm doing this drill, I'm always gonna keep my head away from the camera and my feet towards the camera. And we'll start right in the middle. I'm going to side shrimp this way, forward shrimp this way, side shrimp that way, back shrimp, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box. Even if you have a really small space, it's real easy to do. Okay, even if you can get one, two, three, these drills are really good exercises for warm-up, and everything's about shrimping. Okay, not everything, but a good 75, 80% of our movement on the ground in jiu-jitsu is understanding either I have to bump or shrimp or little small shrimp or getting my body off to the side. Sometimes it doesn't work because your timing's off but for, or even your technique, but most of the time it's, 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 it's there in the technique or in the movement or something that you need. Okay, so just watch. I'm going to side shrimp away. Then I'm going to forward shrimp towards the camera. See, I'm going towards the camera. Then I turn sideways. I side shrimp to the other side. Then I back shrimp towards the back. And then I side shrimp again, back to where we started. And again, I'm right back in the middle. Okay, so our turn, we're going to work together now. Okay, so lie down on the ground. I'm always shrimping away from the position. Side shrimping away. So I'm facing the sidewall and I'm moving myself sideways. Okay, away from that position. Now touch your toes and reach and start forward shrimping towards the camera. Now look away from, go sideways, cross to the other side, make a box. And now bump and shrimp, back shrimp all the way back to the position. Sideways, side shrimp, and you're back ready to go. Okay, it's a nice little drill. That box that I like doing, it's a very easy motion, and we can do it with shrimping, scooting, rolling, break falls. It's a really, really easy and nice drill that I can work when I don't have a lot of space, when I'm concentrating on real basic techniques and moving. So I'm going to. Uh, Give you guys a couple minutes because we're about 15, 20 minutes um, of class. So everyone should be good and warmed up. You should be sweating a little bit. And let's get back. And what I want everyone to do is when you come back, I want you to bring your pillow with you and put it on the middle of the floor. So you got about one minute to go grab a drink and let's go get uh, let's go get our pillows or uh, our jujitsu jacks and, and let's get to work. Francis, how are we doing, buddy? Things are going good? I'm hoping everyone can hear me and see me. I'm going to tilt the, the camera down a little bit so that it's a little more down towards the ground. And a little closer so that that it's in position there so if there's any questions about what we just practiced just just uh, just message here in the next couple minutes and we'll see if I can run through them real fast 
I mean, it was a very simple drill, nothing very difficult. Um, but that, that box drill that I do, I do it in the kids' classes, and, and we can do it with everything. The next se session we'll have it, we'll do it with break falls. You'll see it with scooting. All this stuff is real basic movement that uh, translates really, really good for ground stuff. Okay? So, everyone, let's get back on the floor. <clears throat> Okay, you need to assume when you're on the ground with your pillow that one side is the head or the top and the other side is the feet or, or the bottom. Okay, so we need heads or tails, one end or the other end when we're, when we're in position. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm going to run through the six positions real fast for some of those guys who haven't seen it before. Or, or don't know, it, it's positions everybody knows. I've just given them numbers. So number one is side control. I'm gonna go through them real fast. Number one, side control. Number two is scarf. Number three is reverse scarf. So it's the same seated position. The only difference is I'm coming around and I'm facing away from my partner's head. My back is towards my partner's or my opponent's head, and I'm looking down towards the feet. That's three. So it's basically the same. Two and three are the same. The only difference is one, one time I'm two, I'm facing this way. I'm looking, same seating posture. Number three, same thing. I'm looking this way. Everybody knows this one. Position four, mount. So I'm sitting, mount on top of, sitting on top, okay? Position five is knee on belly. So I want both feet to one side of my opponent. You can see both feet are on one side and I have my knee on top of this pillow. Okay, that's position five. And position six is north-south. North-south is when I'm on one end, my partner's on the other end, our feet, feet are on opposite sides and I'm belly down on top of my partner. We have north-south where his or the opponent's belly's down but in this instant, they're facing up towards the sky, and I'm facing down towards them. This is north-south. Okay? So let's run through the positions together. When I go to position six, my feet are going to be towards you guys this way, towards the camera. Okay? So I'm going to try to chew, turn the, the um, uh, jujitsu jack around. I'm going to try to turn jack around a little bit sometimes so you guys can see the position, but for you guys, you just want to swing around in position six, so your feet are towards the camera, and your heads are towards the, your opponent or this pillow's, uh, the, the backside or the, uh, the downside, okay? So again, head, tails, top side, bottom side, and we have two sides. We've got a left side and a right side, and we'll be working both, okay? So let's start in position one. We'll run through the positions real fast. I'm sitting in position one, I have nice and tight and I'm holding. Position two is I'm going to slide my knee underneath and I'm going to face towards the person's head here. Position three is the same seating posture. I'm just going to go over to the other side. Position three. Okay, position four, I get to mount. I'm going to come up, come up to mount. Just swing one knee on either side and I mount on top. Position five, I'm going to knee on belly, so I'm going to lean on top of my partner. I flip both feet to one side, you see, and then I'm going to come up, knee on belly. That's five. Six, I'm going to lie down all the way around, and I'm facing towards the bottom of my pillow. And I'm belly down, and we're assuming our opponent's belly up. This way, that's north-south or six. Okay, let's run to the other side now. Position one. Position two, switch to three, on top four, five, pick a side, knee on belly, and six, come all the way around into position six, and you're leaning this way. Okay, back again. Start on the other side now. Position one, nice and tight. Position two, slide the knee underneath, switch three, over to the other side, up position four, position five, and all the way around position six. Knee on belly. Come back. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Other side, one, and hold it there. Good. Excellent. It's a little bit of a workout as well. Dress up Jack here. Okay. So, just to explain the positions, they're numbered one through six. Okay, and I'm even trying to do a seven and eight, reverse neon belly, some other ones. But for now, very basic, one through six is what we're looking for. Now, they're numbered one through six, but they don't have to be done in that order. So you can go from one to two. You can go from position one, side control, to reverse scarf. You can go from position one to mount. You can go from position one to neon belly, number five. You can go from position one all the way to north-south and do position six. So that's going to be the class today that we're going to work. We're going to always start back in position one, and we're going to run through to get to each position. So one to two, one to two, we'll do that. We have two sides. We're going to work that. One to three, one to three, one to three. We're, we're come back. One to four, one to four. And I'll show you how I like hitting each position and how that movement happens. It'll help with mobility so you guys can understand how to move. The second thing we'll do is get your body ready for when we do get partners and we do get rolling. You can understand when to go. And then it also help with technique because... You can have good timing, you can have really good strength, you can have really good power, but technique is where it's at, okay? If you have really, really good technique, then, then all the rest of the stuff comes a little more natural, okay? But without good technique, you better have power. Without good technique, you better have speed, you better have agility. But if you have technique and you don't have any of those other things, you, your, your ability to execute and, and make better positions and become and put yourself in a safer spot really helps out. So for me, technique is key. I always, always want to concentrate on good technique. And you never get perfect that technique. I also want to express that. Technique is something that you're going to learn until you're 150 years old. And you're always going to try to make it better. And you need a set of eyes to watch you as well. You might think you're doing good technique, but I need my sensei, my shihan, my professor, my master to look at me and said, hey, Sensei Angelo, you're not moving right. Your hips are moving the wrong way, which the last time Master Hillion was down, he told me that exact thing. Um, and so that's 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 the best thing that you can learn. But while we're practicing, we have our um, Jiu-Jitsu Jack here. We're going to practice proper technique. So I want everyone to slide into position one, okay? So, again, I don't want to be facing this way. Notice how my hips are too close to this person's legs. I want to get sideways. So literally, I'm 90 degrees to my partner. If you're not starting there, it's going to be really hard for you to hit the next position. So we're going one till two. So I don't want to go south. Watch my hip. It's not going to go down towards my partner's feet. My hips are actually going to move up towards my partner's head. Okay? Even a little bit more. And then I want to lean forward with my head. That's one till two. That's position two. And I'm going to slide back to position one. Slide to position two. One. So I want your hip to scoot underneath. My hip goes that way towards, towards the, the top of your pillow. Ready? Two. Slide. I'm on my elbow. Here's, here's where the hard work is. Everyone place your hip down on the ground. So notice how my hip here is sitting on the ground. See, I want you to be, even if there's not a pillow there, I want you to be in this position, but my hip is free to move here. So there's a lot of weight on this hand, and there's a lot of weight on my feet. I don't want to put all my weight down on the ground. This is where the workout's going to come. You want to be movable and pliable. You want to be moving in this position. I don't want to be sitting on the ground at any time. So come back to position one and then switch to position two. That's one. We're going to do five of these. Two. One. Two. Look, my hip hasn't touched the ground yet. Three. One. Two. Four. One. Two. One more. Five. One. Two. Good. Come over to the other side. We have two sides. That's why it's going to take a while to get these done because 
You have to work both sides, left and right. Okay, so underneath, holding position, going towards the camera now. This is position one, slide into position two. My hips not on the ground. Have to be active, feet together. Back to one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Last one, number five. One, two. Very good. Back again. Good. Let's go back to the first side. Now we're going to go one, three. One, three. One, three. I'll demonstrate real fast, and then we'll run through it. One nose position one. I'm here. Now I'm going to go in position three. The only difference is you're going to hug your elbows. See this hand that's coming this way, like this? I'm going to bring it around and hug my elbow on the other side. I'll come around, hug my elbow, then switch my hip. And same thing, hip off the ground when I'm working. Okay? And you should be back to the camera, looking away. Heads this way, feet that way. Back again, one. I control. And then hug my elbow, three. Reverse scarf. Back one, control, three. Control, two more. Four. Control, one more, five. Good, on the side. Very good. Start in position one. Now I'm gonna be facing away from you guys. So I hug my elbow, slide into position three. And now you should be looking at the patch. Okay, everyone's face, everything's facing down towards the feet. That's one, four more. One, two, slide into position three. Three, one, three, four, one, hug your elbow, slide into position three. One more, five, one, slide. Perfect, very nice. Go back on the other side. Jiu-Jitsu Jack's going to be sideways now. Okay. So we did one to two. One to three. Now we're going to go one, two, four. Mount. I like doing it like this. One. Everyone just watch. I'm going to take my back knee. And I'm going to pull it on his belly. Okay. I haven't given up my position yet. I try to keep my head and everything where it is. Chest down, and I'm going to bring my knee over top of the pillow, the middle of the pillow. Then you're going to drive so your knee touches the ground. Quickly kick, and then hit position. And look for the arms. They're going to be pushing on your knees and stuff like that. So that's going from position one to position four. Okay? Back to one. Here. I'm going to stay low, grab my knee, put it on top of the belly. Notice. My knee's on top of the pillow now. Touch the ground with the knee, and then quickly kick, and then hit position. Okay, three more times. That's two, three, knee, touch, kick. Back in position. Four, nice and tight, knee, touch, kick. And back up with posture. I want posture, I want my hands up, because I'm gonna need to grab legs and arms. They're gonna be pulling and pushing, so I want to be here, or if it's time, I'm going to be firing down. i got to defend myself. Last one. Ready? Five. Knee, touch, knee, kick, and then come in position. Perfect. Over on the other side of the pillow, we have two sides to do. Here we go. Easy. This one's simple. Everyone's got to learn this one. Going from position one all the way to position four. Okay? It's there all day long. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Four. Knee touches. Touch the knee. Kick the foot. Up nice and high. That's one. Two. Back. One to four. Let's go. Three. Touch the knee. Touch. And then up. Four. Touch. Up. One more. Five. Touch. And back up. Very good. 
Excellent. So that's one to two, one to three, one to four, one to five. Simple. Holding position, hands on the ground, jumping up, straightening on belly with posture. Okay? Notice how my foot, the ball of my foot's there. If I'm doing this properly, I want to be here, sitting. Notice if I take the ball of my foot, I can sit as if we were doing what we were squatting. Okay, but as soon as you take your foot off the ground, you have to assume your weight a little bit more. You can't sit back like this. You're going to fall. You can feel it. So when I want you to pop up, I don't want you, I don't want you to have that your ball or your foot on the ground. Make sure your foot is flat. Toes are pointed this way and assume your weight. And when I come back underneath, I'm going to hand under and back to position one. Hands on the ground, shoot up, boom, knee on belly. This foot's head height, not back here. It's up where the head is and I'm here, ready for striking, ready for defending. Okay, right back down. One, five, one, five. Last one, one, five. There, hands on the ground, flip both feet over to the other side, knee on belly on the other side. Position one. Hands on the ground, jump up, knee on belly. That knee would land right on the person's solar plexus. And notice I'm sitting back now because the ball of my foot's there, you see? But as soon as I take the ball of my foot off the ground, it's a totally different story. I have to watch how I'm moving. This is the position that you want. You don't want your foot on the ground. This is a better controlled position. So now back to one. That was one. We have four more. Two. Right up. One. Five. That's three. One. Five. Four. One more. One. Five. Right up. Okay, and this foot's off the ground. It's really important. So that was five on each side. Last one, guys. One to six. And then we'll figure out if there's any questions. I can break something down a little slower for everyone. Ready? Position one to six. So what I want to do is I want to try to climb over top of this arm. So I'm going to switch my hands first. This hand is going to go to my elbow like it did in position three, and my elbow hand is going to come on the same side, right beside me. So that hand's here. Look, right beside me, and it's going to attack the other side of the pillow. So from here, you're going to do this. From here, I'm in position here. This one's going to come to my head, and the other one's going to go. And I'm going to flatten out and just go over top. That's north-south. So notice, if you have a partner, one hand's going underneath and the other hand's going on top of the arm, this way. And then we want to come back into position. Slide position one. Ready? Six. Hands, feet. Back again. Hands, feet. And slide. That was three. Two more. Four. One more, five, let's go north-south on the other side, set up for position one, six, hands, slide towards the face, back again, side control, hands, switch hands, this one goes towards my head, the other one goes towards my belly, down towards the ground and push yourself to north-south in your position. That's two, three, hands, feet, four, and feet, one more, five, hands, and slide down to feet. Very good. Okay, so that was just five each side, and that was going from one to each one of the five positions. One to two, one to three, 
one to four, one to five, one to six, ten. Which is a good way to start, but for homework or for practice, you want to do repetitions. You want to repeat, 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 repeat. Reps are the most important thing. The saying goes, been hearing this since I was a kid. Repetition is the mother of all skill. You want to get at good at something, you're going to have to repeat it a whole bunch of times. And not just repeat it, but repeat it properly. Doing it incorrectly at first, like everyone's going to do it, messes things up a little bit. But in the end, you want to try to get it so that everything starts to work and um, become a lot better for you in terms of getting the positions down and stuff like that. Now, um, we're at 45 minutes. I want to leave a couple minutes for some questions. Does anyone have any questions about any of the six positions that we just followed through and we worked? We'll grab a drink, write it out. I'll wait a couple seconds. If you don't have any questions, I'll go through a couple basic stuff here, some detail, and then uh, you guys can practice on your own. I gotta get a belt for Jiu Jitsu Jack. He needs a belt, he keeps coming undone. So, guys, for, for literally 12 bucks, we fixed, uh, we fixed uh, a pretty good uh, unit here, and, and it's strong, it works, it's got hands, it's feet, and, and uh, once we get one through six down, I wanna start doing attacks from this position. So the guy's arm is here, so when I'm in position one, I can work. Kimura, I can work Americana, I can work straight arm bar across. I have this arm here on this side. I can go to position two and start showing you guys some different attacks. Professor Francis' fancy straight arm bar that's here. Okay, there's a lot that we can do in these positions. On position six, can you show us your hands? I sure can, Carlos. So Sometimes people go two hands under, okay? Sometimes people go two hands over, some one under, one over. I like going one hand over and one hand under, okay? Like switch the angle so that we can see the top of your head. Yes, okay. So I'm in position one here. When I go to position six, I want to switch my hands this way. So I'm in position one. Both hands are underneath, underneath his head, underneath his arm. Want to hug my elbow and take this hand, and I literally want to put it on this guy's hip. So this hand here will be on the other side of the pillow. And when I make my movement towards the, the north-south position, I'm pushing my hands together this way. This one pushes in towards his body, and this one pushes up towards his hip and I'm squeezing my hands together this way over top of my head, but I'm facing down towards the ground. I'll do it again one more time. It's a really good question and really important. So I'm sitting here like this in position, position one. Notice this hand, it's stuck here. So I want to switch, grab my elbow, and the elbow hand wants to come down here. And I'm actually taking the second hand and putting it beside the pillow. And then I switch flat note, and I come all the way up to north-south in the position, okay? This is a really, really good position to choke. Actually, I just saw a video of, uh, of uh, Marcelo Garcia. He loves choking from this position. What's going to happen is they're not going to be able to lift this shoulder because I got my body on it. But this one's always going to come up. So that's when I'm going to slide my head around the neck and then just work back for my north-south choke. Again... Vlad, it's one of my most favorite chokes to do as well. A lot of people don't attack north-south. They just use the position for movement or sometimes don't even go to the position at all. But going running around to six stops you from having to go towards the person's feet. And then that way you always get stuck in the person's guard. When you have people, some of my guys have really good guard games. So, so that's why we want to we wanna sit and go from there. Okay, so someone's asking if I can show the position from the other side, maybe, maybe from this side here. So I'm in position one. If I take 
This hand touches my elbow. This one comes around here. Look. See, I'm hitting the side of the pillow this way. Okay, because this person's going to want to start coming towards me with their feet. This way, they're going to want to fold in and start playing guard again. I want to keep their back on the ground, and I want to push this hand here on top of their hip and slide down towards the person's head, okay, for the choke. Once you wrap the head, then you start working the choke. What happens if you don't clear the arm? Good. Not a good question. So I'm in position one here, and I'm going for north-south, and this hand doesn't get clear. That's what Mark, that's what Margaret's talking about. This hand right here doesn't get clear. It's stuck, which is really nice. So if I switch my hands and that hand gets stuck, it's actually gonna turn them and put your pillow on the side. This way. It's really nice position. And when that pillow goes on the side, now you have totally different attack that you can do. So I'm here in the position. Watch how that hand's not going to go underneath. I'm not going to flatten out. I'm going to roll my hip almost to position two. And I step over top. Then I'm going to be turning this person on their side this way. And that's when you grab, step, and you work the American or Kimura from the back. Okay? And that's what happens, Margaret, when you don't clear that hand. That hand doesn't clear. It's bad for them. They want to try to get that hand underneath okay any other questions awesome guys so that was about 45 minutes perfect amount of time next time we go for the next position we're gonna we're gonna work some uh, um, the same position, but we're going to go from two, and we're going to run to each one of them. And then, I mean, if you guys have seen this stuff before, you can practice ahead of time. So I'm going to start next class is going to be position two to one, two to three, two to four, two to five, two to six. And you can practice them and move, okay? The goal is is to make sure the transition gets down and gets, gets working. How do the transitions from Ezekiel to north-south position? So, Ezekiel choke from, from side control position one works really good. Okay, so I'm, I'm here underneath the head. I'm in position one underneath this arm. And maybe what this person's done is stuck this arm underneath and starts working towards the side. So I'm just going to literally grab onto my sleeve and start attacking the neck here. Works really, really good. Easy. So when this person starts shrimping towards me, I'm going to start attacking Ezekiel. So Ezekiel is here. I grab my sleeve this way, and I put it over on the other side of his neck. And then I start just squeezing my hand underneath. If the person starts escaping and gets their head out, that's when I switch and move to position six. And I come over top when I'm going. So sometimes, um, like someone's asking, Ezekiel works really good just in, in side control, position one. I just take my sleeve. I just grab my sleeve. This one's going to be underneath the person's head. I grab my sleeve this way, and I come around to the other side of the neck, and I get the position there. Works really, really good. Really good. Thanks, guys. I think that's it. We could be here all day. Um, I, uh, I really appreciate everyone spending the time and coming and working with me. For me, I'm uh, really, really basic um, kind of jujitsu. My jujitsu is not fancy. It's not all over the place. I really concentrate on some real basic movements and uh, and how to simplify and get things a little bit better. And especially for the juniors, the best thing you can do is have really solid basics first. So let's work on getting some good basics and uh, and let's see what happens um, in the next video. Write your questions down and uh, and if you guys uh, really want to work some stuff one on one. There's also, uh, we're doing Zoom classes as well. So just message me and we can we can do some Zoom classes and I can help maybe a, a few people together if they're asking or looking for a position, we can go through it. Remember that tomorrow at 6.30, um, I believe it's uh, Professor Francis, is it you that's on? There's another session tomorrow at 6.30. Um, let's, uh, let's get on uh, Facebook Live and let's, uh, let's uh, go through some more uh, technique. So I appreciate seeing everybody. Thank you very much for spending your time with me, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.